You know that feeling when you update your phone and at first glance, everything looks the same, but then you start noticing little details that completely change how you use it. That's exactly what's happening with Samsung's brand, New One UI 8, and trust me, some of these upgrades will surprise you. They might look small at first, but when you start putting them together, you realize Samsung just quietly made your Galaxy phone smarter, cleaner, and way more fun to use. Welcome back viewers, James here. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more tech breakdowns like this. Now, let's dive in because there's a lot to unpack. First off, let's talk about a little hidden gem. Samsung kept the classic Android Easter egg game, but with a twist. If you've got Android 16, you'll notice 16 shining stars instead of 15, and there's even an autopilot feature for your spaceship. That means you can literally just sit back and watch your ship glide across constellations without touching the screen. It's such a small detail, but it instantly makes the update feel fresh and playful. Now here's where things get interesting. File sharing just got a major glow up. With quick share on one UI 8, you no longer just pick contacts only, oi, or everyone. Instead, Samsung splits sending and receiving into two clean sections, and you can even generate a QR code or link to share with someone who isn't nearby, yes, even with an iPhone. That instantly makes it more useful than before, and way smoother than the clunky options we had in One UI 7. But wait until you see what Samsung did with reminders. Honestly, I never touched it much before, but now it's on a whole new level. You've got categories like scheduled tasks, location-based alerts, and even ready-made templates for workouts, bills, or groceries. Plus, you can add custom backgrounds so every reminder feels more personal. Suddenly, it's not just a boring to-do list. It feels like your phone is helping organize your life in style. Speaking of multitasking, split screen got smarter too. Imagine you're watching a video while taking notes. Now you can swap apps with just a tap, and it instantly remembers your setup. No more fumbling around to rebuild the layout. It's these little tweaks that make multitasking less of a hassle and more of a smooth flow. Samsung internet also got a polished redesign. The toolbar is cleaner, menus are easier to customize, and the share and read allowed options are right where you need them. Even better, when you open an article, you can choose to listen to a quick summary instead of reading the whole thing. Perfect for when you're on the go and don't want to scroll endlessly. And then there's the weather app. Sure, it still pulls data from weather. Calm, but now it feels alive. The rain actually looks like rain, snowflakes fall naturally, and even thunder feels more dramatic. It's small, but it makes checking the forecast less boring and more like a mini experience every time you open it. Another quiet but powerful tweak, my files. Instead of burying categories under recent files, Samsung flipped the order. Now, images, downloads, and screenshots sit right at the top where you actually want them, and your recent files are still right there below. It's subtle, but it makes finding stuff way faster. Samsung even polished something as simple as your profile card. Editing your caller ID, avatar, photo, or gallery image is quicker, and you can choose who sees it. Everyone are just your contacts. It's a small piece of personalization that adds a little fun back into something we don't usually think twice about, and let's not forget alarms. This one caught me off guard. Instead of just creating new alarms one by one, now you can group them. Work alarms, school alarms, weekend alarms. You can import and organize them without starting from scratch. It's one of those quality of life changes that makes you wonder why it wasn't there years ago. So when you put it all together, better file sharing, a genuinely useful reminder overhaul, smarter split screen, a cleaner Samsung internet, immersive weather animations, a tidier files app, easier profile edits, and grouped alarms. One UI 8 isn't just a surface level update. It's a bundle of small but powerful refinements that make your phone feel brand new without changing its identity. And here's the best part, this is just the beta, rolling out first to Galaxy S25 devices in select countries. That means more features, more polish, and eventually more devices are coming. So if this is just the beginning, imagine where Samsung takes it next. That's all for today's breakdown of One UI 8. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and share this with a fellow Galaxy user who's curious about the update. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.